In today's video, I'm going to explain to you the eight tips that are guaranteed to help you learn English 10 times faster in 2024. I'm Jay and this is Speak English with Jay. Let's get in the video. So the first tip to learning English 10 times faster is preparation. And just to state a famous quote from Abraham Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln says that if you give me six hours to cut down a tree, I'll spend the first four hours sharpening my axe. Taking the first four hours sharpening the axe can be metaphorically used to indicate the power of preparation. Spend a decent amount of time figuring out what aspect about English you want to learn, how you're going to learn it, the goal you want to achieve at the end of the learning period, and what you're actually going to do to learn. Preparing to study for English can include several activities like preparing an English study plan. And in case you don't know how to prepare an English study plan yet, you can check out my video on how to prepare a successful English study plan for 2024. Creating a well-organized timetable is also another way to prepare for your English studies. Ensure the resources that you'll be using for study are easily available and accessible, like your English dictionary and notebook, so you don't spend 30 minutes or half an hour of your study time looking for your English dictionary. Ensure the resources that you're going to use for study are easily accessible and available by the time of study. You can also prepare for studying English by deciding on how you're going to study. How are you going to learn English? Are you going to learn it through reading books? Are you going to learn it through an English coach? Or are you going to learn it by watching videos just like this one? All of these activities are part of preparing for your English study to ensure that your learning time is made easier and faster. The second tip to study English 10 times faster in 2024 is trick your brain to study. Trick your brain to studying to optimize focus. And one productivity hack that is very useful in this tip is the 10 minute rule. One thing about humans, when you plan to do something, especially learning in this case, we tend to drag or procrastinate on starting to do it or have difficulty in starting to do it. The 10 minute rule states that you have to convince yourself or trick your brain into starting for 10 minutes. Once you've started for 10 minutes, you're not allowed to do it anymore but more often you find that once you've studied for 10 minutes once you've broken the studying barrier you find yourself wanting to do more of it and to optimize your focus ensure that your mobile phones or anything that can distract you during the 10 minute process is turned off or is not close to you when you study so start tricking your brain to studying for at least 10 minutes the next tip is be immersed in the language as much as possible. So there's this book called Ultra Learning by Scott Young, a very good book by the way. And in this book, Scott talks about his journey to learning languages in three months and becoming fluent in the languages in three months. And the key takeaway from that is immersion. Be as emotionally immersed to English as much as possible. And one of the ways that I immerse in English as much as possible as an English learner is by listening to English music and singing along the lyrics. Singing the lyrics to the song along as the music plays. And by understanding the storyline of the lyrics to the song and singing along every time I listen to the song, I become more emotionally immersed. And one thing that I also want you to know is that we learn best when we're in an environment where we actually gonna use the skill we are learning. I don't mean that you actually have to live in an English-speaking country to use the English skills that you're learning. You can create an environment by creating your own space where you just use English freely as much as you want to. You can do that by creating time with your friends or family members and just talk about English. You can even do that by creating time to talk to yourself in English. As an English learner, creating this YouTube channel is actually helpful. It's like me creating an environment where I can share and use the English skills that I am learning. This improves my ability to learn, speak, and communicate faster in English. And if you could do that also as an English learner, then I guarantee that you will learn English much faster in 2024. The fourth tip is figure out your weak points in the language. Ask yourself if you could take an English test tomorrow or just right now, what aspect of English or what skill 
in english would you perform listening is it speaking skills is it writing skills is it listening and communicating skills to study efficiently build the parts you're weakest on and create time to work on them you can take a whole day or even hours working on that particular aspect in english so by basically plugging out an area of weakness and working on it it no longer becomes an area of weakness since it was identified and worked the fifth tip to learn english ten times faster is by testing yourself active recall or retrieval exercises so the idea behind regularly testing yourself is that we don't usually learn by taking in and consuming and absorbing information into our brain we often learn by trying to take our information learned from our brain i'm pretty sure if you read about nouns today and a friend or a classmate asks you three days later what you learned about today you'll probably have forgotten like half of everything that you learned today right that's because you haven't really tested yourself on the knowledge that you took in most students or most learners don't really like testing because they view testing as a grading tool if i don't get it right i'm gonna be a failure if we could just take testing as a way of learning then absorbing information learned could be way easier and faster so test yourself on the knowledge you learn the sixth step is getting feedback and i'm gonna add as fast as possible feedback is whether you do or say something wrong you realize that what you said or did was not right then correct on it or you're told that whatever you said or you did was wrong then you correct on it if you've been working on speaking or writing skills find an english teacher or find friends or learners who are much better than you in the language and ask them to analyze your speech talk about the tenses the pronunciation or if you're working on writing skills get an english teacher write an essay or just a paragraph and ask them to read the essay or the paragraph you wrote and underline the grammar mistakes you made in your writing getting encouraging and critical feedbacks gives you the momentum to learn more even faster and if you're really serious about learning english you should get an english coach who gives you immediate feedback the seventh tip is over learning i'd like to also say learning in depth the idea behind this tape is to continuously be asking questions on why the thing you've learned is the way it is let's take these two sentences for instance the first sentence is he went to the shop yesterday the second sentence is he gone to the shop yesterday according to english the first sentence is grammatically correct to apply your learning or learning in depth you will be asking questions like why is the first sentence correct and why is the second sentence wrong what makes the first sentence right and the second sentence wrong and how can the second sentence be corrected or be rewritten to make it right it's very easy to learn concepts by understanding why the concept worked the way it works and there's also a deeper appreciation of the reasoning behind it when you know that this sentence is correct because of its tense it makes learning not just fast but also more fun and enjoyable the eighth and last tip is repetition or should i call it practice you have to keep on practicing and testing yourself on the skills and concepts of english that you learn and especially in learning a language like english the only way you're gonna improve is by putting the english into use there's no way you're gonna improve on english if you're not using it it's just like going to france and learning french and coming back home and not using it at all you are gonna forget everything that you learned about french however if you keep on repeating the same vocabulary learned it will stick in your brain and it almost becomes a no-brainer ladies and gentlemen there we go the eight tips that if you implement are guaranteed to help you learn english 10 times faster in 2024 and that brings us to the end of this video if you're an english learner who's just starting out on your english journey and you want to continue learning more tips about english then i highly suggest that you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming english video let's catch up in my next video bye bye